All right, we got a fun one here. I guess fun, if depending on who you are, but uh, PGA Championship round two, Eric Van Royen, the South African, and we want to go over uh, this situation. A lot of people to sent this one in and said, hey, you got to take a look at this. So let's put a little context to this first. Here he is on the 17th hole. The course has been playing brutal all week, you know, so that's good that he is getting it around. And you can see for him... He is actually at this moment inside the cut line, okay? Or he was, all right? Now, the cut line ended up being plus five, but you can see from him that he started on uh, the back nine. He was three over par. He shot even par in his first round, and he went with a birdie, so he's at two over, and then he got to... 14, and this was when it was playing really, really tough into the wind. This stretch of the golf course was tearing people apart. And he went bogey, double bogey. He bogeyed 16, which is par 5. That was their chance to get one or at least make a par. And then he comes to 17. So at this point, he is now outside the cut line at plus 6. Cut line ended up being at plus 5. And so we get here to 17. All right, so... We come back in, and we're going to hit this shot. Very, very tough hole. Very tough shot. As you can see, again, we'll go back to the yardage playing 223. It is brutal, okay? So, Van Royen steps up. Well, Let's take a watch. Going we're going to have a shot. 198 on the card today. 223 is the scorecard yardage. Hits it. Actually going a little bit hunting. He's got a birdie one of the last two. He probably knows this at this point. And honestly, he doesn't hit too bad of a shot. That pin being tucked all the way over on the right side. And, you know, you get some of the crazy Pete dye You know, this probably isn't one where you're looking to get too aggressive. But you can see the pin on the right side just past Charlie Hoffman's head there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he's giving it a go. He's giving it a chance at it. And the wind at this point, if you look at the flag, was actually kind of pushing it a little bit back to the to the left it looked like but the ball ends up going in the water and then this is the way i have just basically lost the cut and that t marker is going to take it and that is the part right there i mean not a bad you know this first swipe was kind of weak but then he decides to turn it around and give it give it the old hack straight into the water and matt wallace's caddy walking there is like holy cow this guy's gonna kill me and the head goes in so obviously something that's super unsafe super ridiculous but hey good entertainment for this moment but uh you know the thing i was wondering is like what do you do then after that well being the good pj of america that we are you know what we're always prepared for things like golfers that are just ridiculous. So we'll just get a new one out. If In case you're never wondering, they do paint where the tee markers go. So you just pop another one in and, hey, look at that. We are in uh, we're in good shape. So anyway, that's uh, that's Eric Van Royen deciding to just go ham on a tee marker. In my honest opinion, if you do this, uh, we had a college player do this. Not not He didn't hit the tee marker, but he went ballistic and... We pulled him off the course because uh, there's no need for it. But the thing I liked at the end of the round was Wallace's caddy basically gave him the snub. And I love it because, you know what? This dude's just like, dude, I'm just carrying the bag. Get, you know, why am I dodging your T markers because you hit a terrible shot? Not only that, but the club head. The club head comes off. I mean, that's the part that's really he's lucky that he hit it into the water, not back towards these people back here. That's uh, that's something that he is very lucky that that happened. So I suspect he's going to get a fine. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty bad. So yeah, anyway, there it is.